Great day, everyone. We are here to present our paper entitled Daily Spiritual Experience of Filipino Catholic Youth. I'm James Emerson Manias of the La Salle Pastoral Office. With me is my partner, Dr. Homer Yabot, Department of Psychology. Let me just begin by presenting our agenda. We begin with the background, followed by literature review, research questions, methodology, results and discussion, and we will wrap it up with conclusions and recommendations. Background. The COVID-19 pandemic has disrupted our way of life. It has taken many lives literally and metaphorically. Any pandemic like COVID-19 disorganized the life of a wider society, representing the loss of lives in the biological sense and social senses that may cause spiritual distress that arises when a person's basic belief system is shaken. Spirituality, as a foundation of all population groups, refers to the feelings, thoughts, experiences, and behaviors that arise from a search for the sacred. A divine being, a divine object, ultimate reality or truth as perceived by the individual that gives meaning to life and enhances the sense of aliveness and interconnectedness. In the local context, Yabut claimed that Filipinos are known for having a deep sense of spirituality, where religion and spirituality are highly related, since most spiritual experiences of people are connected to their religion in the form of religious rituals and traditions. The term spirituality in this study and in this tale refers to aspects of personal life that include the transcendent, divine, or holy, more than what we can see or touch or hear. The daily spiritual experience scale or DSS is a 16-item self-report measure designed to assess ordinary experiences of connection with the transcendent in daily life. Furthermore, Spirituality plays a vital role in many people's lives, with the Philippines being top eight on the Global Spirituality Index and being considered one of the most religious countries. However, despite the growing research about spirituality, there is still a dearth of describing the religiosity and spirituality of Filipinos in general, especially the young. This paper explores spirituality as experienced by Filipino Catholic youth as a point of reference for holistic care and the formation of persons, especially the youth, toward wellness and quality of life. This study explores the following research questions. First, what is the level of the daily spiritual experience of Filipino Catholic youth? Second, is there a significant difference between males and females in their levels of spirituality? And third, is there a significant difference among those employed and unemployed in their levels of spirituality? Our methodology. This paper would like to showcase the spirituality of Filipino Catholic youth based on the SEAP National Survey. We utilize the National Filipino Catholic Youth Survey 2013, or what we call NFCYS 2013. We utilize descriptive statistics on the daily spiritual experience of the Filipino Catholic youth using the CES, or Daily Spiritual Experience Scale of Underwood, as a reference point for spiritual well-being, particularly in the new normal. Further, the profile of our respondents in terms of sex, male, are in the number of 1,047 with a percentage of the total population of 51.3%, while male have 47% with a number of 985. They were missing data at around 34 data in a 1.7%. So the total sample size is exactly 2,005. In terms of occupation, the profile, the full-time student with the number of 1,087 has the 57.8% of the total population. Working student, 95, with 5.1%. 5 
employed 323 with 17.2% and unemployed 375 with 19.9%. I mean, right now, our I partner, Dr. Homer Yabut for results and discussions. Thank you, Sir James. I'll now discuss the results and the discussion. So we found out that uh, for the Filipino among the Filipino Catholic youth, the daily spiritual experiences is above average score with a mean of 4.9 and an, and a standard deviation of 0.69. So the, the range is from one to six. And the, 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 the average score of 4.9 is above the midpoint of the, of the range. So among the items, the highest rated item is the one that refers to feeling thankful for their blessings. This is about gratitude with a mean of 5.33, standard deviation of 0.49. Followed by, I feel God's love for me directly, and I desire to be closer to God and in union with Him. Whereas for the low, items with lowest rating, it's about their acceptance of others, even when they do things that participants think are wrong, with a mean score of 4.32 and a standard deviation of 1.08. So in terms of comparisons, the results show that females have significantly higher spirituality compared to males. Uh, females, uh, the average of the ratings for females is 4.94, whereas for males it's 4.86. And then for the next batch of results, we also found that occupation or employment has an effect on the spirituality among Filipino Catholic youth. Post hoc analysis show that those who are unemployed have significantly lower levels of spirituality compared to full-time and working students. So, so for our conclusions and recommendations, uh, back to you, Sir James. Thank you, Dr. Homer. So in our conclusions and recommendations, this study led us to inquire to learn as many lessons as possible. The daily spiritual experience of Filipino Catholic youth is above average, which is most experienced many times through feeling thankful for their blessings. It may be a cliche, but it may have truth in it that in the time of uncertainties, an attitude of gratitude is a way to fortitude. It might be worth looking for a reference point that the youth could hold on to, especially in times of crisis like the pandemic. Furthermore, it is interesting to note that there is an emergence of women's spirituality movement among Filipino Catholic youth. As the results noted, women have higher level of daily spiritual experience than men, despite that Philippines is considered a patriarchal society, where gender has no significant difference in terms of levels of spirituality in the Philippine context in most studies. Furthermore, it was found that unemployment is not only an economic problem, it can also be a spiritual crisis among Filipino Catholic youth. This is something good to emphasize that unemployment is or could also be a spiritual crisis among Filipino Catholic youth. We acknowledge the limitations of the study, but we have some further recommendations. This study can be a reference point in forming programs towards youth spiritual development and well-being. We acknowledge that there is a need for further empirical research, like instrument validation of the scale, on the daily spiritual experience of the Filipino Catholic youth. And lastly, there could be follow-up quantitative and qualitative research on the following variables, gratitude, forgiveness, gender, unemployment, and spirituality among Filipino Catholic youth.
we'll stop here. Thank you and God bless. Animal Lasalle.